welcome back to my channel. So today I created a tutorial based on the new Kai Shadow Palette by Kylie Jenner. So I didn't purchase it because I felt like a lot of the colors that are in that palette are similar to what I already have in the Morphe 350 palette, which is this guy right here. You guys have heard me talk about this palette a million times. It's one of my favorites, especially for fall, because it has all these nice warm tones. I wanted to create a look that was similar to what you could get from the Kai Shadow palette, but using the Morphe 350 palette. So that's what I did today. Basically, to create all the different colors in the palette, I combined two or three of the shades in the Morphe 350 palette. So for example, for Jasper, which is the lightest color in the palette, which I used to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner, I mixed this color right here with this color right here. So I basically named them rows A through E and numbers one through seven. So A1 and A3 create Jasper. So when I'm referencing random letters and numbers in the video, that's what they mean. And of course, I will list all those combinations below for you so that you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like the more dramatic look that I created today. I haven't done anything like this in a while, so I thought it was time to do a fall inspired look because holy shit, it's almost the fall. My best friend's getting married on October 1st. <laughs> no big deal. So hope you guys like this video. I hope you learned something. If you do like it, give me the thumbs up and write some comments below. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah. Okay, so we're going to start on the brow bone. And to create the color Jasper, we are going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to call this A1. And we're gonna mix that with A3, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna bounce back and forth in the colors, tap off the excess. To create the color quartz, I'm going to take this color right here, we'll call that A2, and I'm gonna mix that with A3, so these two. And that's gonna go right underneath that first color, so right on the brow bone, not above it. To create the color topaz, I am going to mix this guy right here, E2, with B6, which is this one. So this one and this one. You're just going to work that in circular motion so that it blends nice. Okay, so now that we've done our transition and our crease, we're going to create the color tiger's eye. To do that, we are going to take this color right here, call that D7, and we're gonna mix that with B6, so this guy right here, these two. And that color is gonna go on our lash line and then into our crease. I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more. Then we are going to create hematite. Hematite is like the most red color in the palette. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to combine this color right here with this color right here, these two. And we're just gonna concentrate those two colors on our outer V right here. Then to create citrine, we are going to combine the most orange colors in this palette, which are these two right here. We're just gonna lay that color on top of everything other than our brow bone. So to create bronzite, we're going to grab these two colors right here, blend those together, and we're gonna put that right on our lash line where our eyeliner would go. If you ever feel like you want more pigment 
for this step, you can just spray your brush with some setting spray or Fix Plus. Um, you can even just wet your brush with some water and that'll make this color a little bit darker. drag it out here to the corner, outer corner. And then to create obsidian, we're going to mix these two colors right here. This one and this one. And that's gonna stay right on the lash line. Finally, for our lid, we are going to mix quartz and goldstone. Goldstone is the goldest, champagneiest color in the palette. So we're gonna mix these three right here. And I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this on my lid. To clean up these lines right here, I'm just gonna grab a flat head brush, looks like that. And I'm going to grab any setting powder that I have. Just clean that up right there. So for the lower lash line, we're going to use our hematite combination. So that'll be these two right here. And you're going to keep that as tight on the lash line as you can. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and blend that out. And then for citrine, I am combining the top two oranges right here over hematite. And then finally, tiger's eye, which will be these two right here. Then we're just going to highlight the inner corner of our eye with quartz. So quartz will be these two right here. Clean up any fallout. And then last step is to put a little brown liner in your waterline. So I'm gonna be using Kylie's Dolce K. This is lip liner, but it can double as eyeliner too. Okay, so I am just going to put Dolce K on my lips, and that will be the complete look. So that is the final look, guys. I hope you love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Okay. I need to answer Chelsea. So you guys have heard me. You guys have heard me? You guys have heard me talk about this palette. Oh my god. Oh, you scared me. Oh. Sorry. I'm almost done. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. I tried.